What's up everybody? My name is Vanessa and you are watching all about Vishlas. If you are new to my channel and you have not seen any of my videos, I highly encourage you to check out my first video, especially if you do not own this breed yet and you are contemplating whether or not this is the breed for you. If you like the content that I'm creating, I really encourage you to click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up on any, any of the videos that you like, and if you are interested in future or upcoming videos, go ahead and click your notifications bell so you are notified when I upload. This is my dog, Corbin. He is six years old. He's gonna be in the video today, just kind of chilling. He's really tired. I adopted Corbin when he was one through a pilot dog program out of Columbus, Ohio. And I'm so glad that I did. I, it, it's been a journey, definitely for sure. But I have not regretted one moment of it. Lavender asked if I could do a video on mentally stimulating games or mentally stimulating activities for Vishlas. So today I just wanna go over some do-it-yourself games that you can make for your dog and and or do-it-yourself projects that can keep your dog physically engaged. So when it comes to cognitive enrichment, there are many ways that you can accomplish this. I went to a website earlier today, I will put it in the description box below, that provides some excellent, excellent games that you can do with your dogs. So again, I will link it in the description below. They have, uh, they have YouTube demonstrations on how to execute and, and build these types of things. Um, but one of the things that they recommended was a rolled up treat burrito towel. And it's really simple. All you gotta do is just take a towel and then take a bunch of high value treats and I will reinforce that word high value. Um, it's really important when you're wanting, especially when you're wanting to train, use a high value treat, something that motivates your dog. For mine, he loves bacon. I used bacon and I went ahead and made him this burrito toy. Now we're gonna bring it over here and let's see how this works because he loves bacon. Get it. Get the treat. Get it. Get it, Corbin. Nudge, nudge. Now this is the first time I have ever played this game with Corbin. He wants to, as you can see, he wants to pull it towards him. But I taught him the command nudge because um, I have trained him for different types of tactile stimulating um, approaches when it comes to anxiety. So uh, as, as my service dog, he knows he knows different commands. Corbin, nudge. Nudge. You have to take your hand off of it. Nudge. Nudge. Good boy. Good boy. Nudge. 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 Thank you. 
good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. So that is a roll-up treat burrito towel. So as you can see, it's super simple and it's easy. Another do-it-yourself puzzle toy is called the food tube dog puzzle. And this is really easy too. All you have to do is get a box like so with some toilet paper rolls. And what you do is you put a high value treat inside certain rolls. They have to figure out how to get the food out of the tubes. And as you can see, he's already, he's already doing some, uh, some work here. Get the treat, Corbin. It might take a while, but they'll figure it out eventually, as long as you don't make it too hard or too difficult for them. Find it for them. So as you can see, those are a couple of things that you can do yourself. It's cheap. And I know you guys have toilet paper rolls hanging around your house. So um, yeah, that is a quick demo of the food tube dog puzzle and the rolled up treat burrito towel. Those are things that I got off of preventativevet.com. They have a section for dog enrichment toy games. So I'm going to put that in the description box below. Another thing that you can do is a do-it-yourself lick mat. And basically what this is, is it's any type of ice cube trays or silicone mat, something that has space for you to fill it with peanut butter or whatever filling of your choice. Uh, and you put it in the freezer and it's just something that will keep them entertained. Um, same thing with, same idea with the Kong toys. Um, you know, you fill those up with treats, you freeze them and it keeps them entertained for a while. You could make a muffin tin dog puzzle and that's basically just take a muffin tin, you take some high value treats, you put them in there, and then you take tennis balls and you put them on top and the dog has to figure out how to get the treats. You can also do this just sitting with your dog. Um, I do this all the time with him when I have a high value treat in my hands and I make him choose which hand. That's something that he loves to do. We just sit and we could do that for 20 minutes. It really causes them to think and to try to figure out. It challenges them. You could also do your own obstacle course. You could make little uh, box tunnels. You could take some PVC pipe or cones if you have them, or even chairs. And you can teach them how to weave through those things. These are things that don't cost a lot of money and they challenge your dog. I did reach out to Chewy.com and I asked them if they could send me some demo toys some dog puzzle toys 
uh, for the different stages of development. I will let you guys know as soon as I hear from them. I will be making a follow-up video uh, using some different types of toys. But today I just wanted to give you some quick things that you could do with your dog. Hide and seek, scavenger hunts, do it yourself lick mat, do it yourself dog tube puzzle, a snuffle mat. Those drugs that you can get and they just they have the shreds and stuff. What you could do is you could take one of those, take some treats, throw them in there, scatter them up, and then they will take their time sniffing out and try to find them. You can also take your dog on sniffari walks. That's very, very important. This, I actually got that term from this website. I really liked it. Not only is it important to take your dog on structured walks throughout the day, it's important to also let them have time to sniff around, to let them explore their environments. When you take your dog out on a walk and he starts to sniff around, that's like their daily news report, especially for Vishlas, because they are very, they're working dogs, you know, they're very scent driven. So this is a great thing for them. It only costs you your time. It doesn't cost any money to do this. So in addition to their structured walks, throw in some snafari walks as well, you know, let them take their time. It is snake season, so do be careful when you do take your dog out for walks. I know that there are a lot of different training programs or classes that you can take to help your dog be aware of different types of undesirable uh, animals that could cause them harm. So look into that in your area. They're fun. They help your dog learn what to stay away from. So I hope this information was helpful to you. Again, I will be following up this video with another video relatively soon, hopefully. Depends on how backed up Chewy.com is. Uh, regarding the demo toys that I have requested. So to recap, some things that you can do yourself for your Vishla when it comes to mental stimulation toys are food tube dog toys, do-it-yourself lick mats, muffin tin dog puzzles, rolled up treat burrito towels, DIY dog snuffle mats, all free. They don't cost you any money. You can use what you have lying around your house. Scavenger hunts. Hide and seek, it's free. It costs absolutely no money. Snafari walks, absolutely free, no money. These are all things that will stimulate your dog. You can also DIY your own little obstacle course in your front yard using things that you have around your house to teach your dog how to weave through or around, jump over or to tunnel through, um, just using regular boxes and cones or chairs. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, the main thing is your dog loves to spend time with you and the more that you can work with your dog on these kinds of things, the more it helps them to be able to figure out how to problem solve, to mentally and physically stimulate your dog and to help prevent them from becoming bored and becoming destructive. So if you like the information in this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not subscribed, and click your notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And as always, if you have questions, do please ask me. I like interacting with you guys. I like answering questions. I will be making another video on tail docking. I did get a question on tail docking. Why is it that you see some dogs with dock tails and why others you see with cropped tails? So that video is coming up relatively soon. I'm going to try and, and film it and get that out this week uh, sometime during the middle, the middle of the week. Yeah, so if you found this video helpful, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe.